Last couple of years now, the Taste of Buffalo has marked a somber anniversary for those behind a once popular North Towns establishment. It was back in 2015, a fire consumed car mines in East Amherst, while employees were downtown at the Taste at the same time. But the restaurant is finally up and running again, and as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Dementry explains tonight, all new at 11, that means a return to the festival is in order. Three summers ago, it's never been the same since. Carmines in East Amherst burned to the ground. You lost the whole building, you lost everything, you lost your roots. All because a pizza oven caught fire. You know, it was obviously the day of the fire it was during the Taste of Buffalo. The second iteration of Carmines opened nine months ago. Slightly down the road a little bit, not too far from where we used to be. And this year's Taste of Buffalo is its coming out party. Carmines um, has been in the Taste of Buffalo for the last 25 years with a three year break. Owner Kelly Jacoby and her son Alex say while they're excited to make the return. <laughs> and a little chaotic, a little hectic. It wouldn't be the Taste of Buffalo if it wasn't that extra hard work. But all that hard work has panned out for them before. Winning award after award after award. We won the Taste of Buffalo seven times. The goal this year for the Jacobis, well, win another one, along with the hearts of foodies from Western New York and beyond. They'll be right on Delaware Avenue in Booth 9. And if you want any tips for what to order, their pesto pistachio pasta alongside the Taste of Buffalo award-winning crab cake stuffed shrimp will both be on the menu for Carmine's during the event. In East Amherst, Nicole Dementry, 7 Eyewitness News. Mm, really good. It